Quick clarification. We are dancing, right? Yes. But we're not doing that lift, right? We were at dinner one night, and Josh, we were talking about musicals and, you know, everything from My Fair Lady and so, and then Josh said, Footloose. I saw Footloose. Yes, maybe I planted the seed, because as I remember it, it was him going, Footloose. <laughs> That's Vinny. Correct. Yes. Okay? It's not, this isn't anything. It's just a rehearsal, okay? We held auditions, and gosh, I had probably 70 young people. Well, we cast... 35 high schoolers in the show, which, that's a big number, <laughs> 35. Even though it's about non-dancing, but it's a dance show. Um, a lot of them have never been on stage before, including our lead, the, the guy who plays Ren, uh, his name is Gabe Stoltzfus. This was the first time he auditioned for us. He's a senior. But there was sort of this buzz about him, you know, you gotta wait for this kid, wait for this kid. And when he came in, we just knew that's, that's Ren. <laughs> so he's, he's playing opposite Tatum Murray. And Tatum, by comparison, has had a lot of experience, both in GSPA and um, elsewhere growing up. And the two of them, I think, have a natural chemistry, which is kind of hard in high school. Quite a bit of our uh, supporting cast, uh, again, this is their first role or their first larger role. Um, but those who have done it before are definitely helping those who have not. The alumni, the adults, even though there's you know, only 10 of them, um, they bring quite a bit of maturity and depth to, the, to their performance. And in smaller rehearsals, when it's just been the principals, um, I've noticed they that the kids really rise to the level of the adults and it, it's just been a really cool experience to watch and maybe they don't even realize that they're doing it but they improve when they are acting with those adults and there are some scenes that our actors have been you know getting choked up and they kind of can't believe it when we take a break they can't believe how affected they are other times uh, they get really angry or they're genuinely laughing, so it's just been a really good experience for them. Ready? And... of like fun and also a little bit of pathos in it about Everybody the seems to have lost something and in the end uh, they basically all come together and they have found something that they thought they were missing. So I, I like that kind of a, a show where it tells a little bit about you know everyday life you know loads of people go through losing like a, a husband a wife or you know a child who goes astray and that's what the story Even though it's about. the 80s when it came out but it's still uh, a challenge because these kids have to learn how to dance. I would say, Why? alongside of other shows, this one is much more upbeat than, say, uh, Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> yeah. Besides Tatum.